What's up, humanoids, and welcome to a special episode of the E-Log. Today, I'll be talking about wrestling. Usually, I don't talk about wrestling on my YouTube. It's because I barely watch wrestling nowadays. I used to watch it religiously two, three years ago. I was so into it. The Attitude Era. NWA TNA, when it first started in the Asylum Era. E the original ECW. Not... ECW on sci-fi, not that fucking bullshit that Vince McMahon brought back. When did I stop watching wrestling? Oh yeah, I stopped watching wrestling when Michael Cole became a fucking heel. I couldn't stand his shit, him bashing everyone. I know it's a character, but he got me on my nerves. And I decided not to watch wrestling anymore, because I couldn't take Michael Cole seriously as a heel. It's fucking Michael Cole. But anyways, my rant about TNA's Hall of Fame. I just finished watching Bound for Glory. But Kurt Angle gets inducted into TNA Hall of Fame. Last year was Sting. Here's my question. Why the fuck isn't AJ Styles in this? Really? Can someone answer me this? AJ Styles has been there since day fucking one. AJ Styles has worked his ass off in numerous amounts of awesome matches back in the Asylum days. For him was Jerry Lynn, The Amazing Red, a bunch of others like remember uh, the Rainbow Express. Yes, I said the Rainbow Express. Lenny and Bruce. That was an awesome match. The Fatal 4-Way for the first ever X Division Championship. Him, Jerry Lynn, Psychosis. And I forgot who else was in there. Was it like uh, Christopher Daniels or somebody else? I can't remember. But really, AJ Styles has been there since day one, and yet he still hasn't been in the fucking Hall of Fame. I'm sick and tired of this shit, man. When was it a couple of years ago when they made AJ Styles out to be a fucking joke and become a turkey one time? Literally, he was dressed as a fucking turkey one time on TNA Impact. Remember the time when he was like sucking up to Kurt Angle and he lost a match and he had to wear a turkey suit because he was, uh, Jim Cornette called him an idiot? I bet Jim Cornette was uh, mad as hell for saying that because uh, Jim Cornette does, loves this guy. AJ Styles is a fucking good wrestler, as I'm going to say. I hope to God next year AJ Styles is in the TNA Hall of Fame. At least for something. No, scratch that. He should have been number one, the first pick. Like I said, there since fucking day one. Sting got chosen to be the first inductee, but yet he showed up later. Yes, he helped the company here and there, but still, it's Sting. Kurt Angle I can understand, because he helped the company even more. But these are outside guys. Sting came in later, Kurt Angle came in later. AJ Styles has been there since day fucking one, remember that. Or at least have some of the TNA originals be in the Hall of Fame for like the second year. Instead of having Kurt Angle be in there, why not Christopher Daniels? Or bring back a name from the past era, like Jason Cross. Remember Jason Cross? The Amazing Red. Chris Saban. Matt Bentley. AKA Michael Shane. Barry Lynn, for God's sakes. Honestly, I'm at a loss for words with this. Two years the TNA Hall of Fame has been in product, and still no AJ Styles in this. What the fuck is going on? They treat AJ Styles like shit the entire time, except for his TNA World Title run, which he did awesome at. Which he only won once. Yes, I said it, he only won once. He won the TNA World Title one fucking time and the NWA title a bunch of numerous other times. Scratch that. AJ Styles is the former three-time NWA world champion. That's what, another thing I'm sick of. Them saying he's a four-time world champion. Let's get this straight right now. The NWA title three times, TNA title one time. That does not make four. It's two different fucking belts. I hate, it's like, how the fuck do you combine those two into one? They're two separate things. Every time I hear them say he's a former four-time TNA champion, I lose my shit. Again, he only won it one time. 
And what else can I rant about? Oh, by the way, the X Division match on Bound for Glory. What the fuck was all that about? Four former world champions. Jeff Hardy. As much as I don't like the guy anymore. I used to like him, but now he's just a diva. Yes, I said it. He's too much of a diva. Austin Aries, the fucking man. Chris Sabin, who only won the title for like what, a cup of coffee and then won a, lost it back to Bully Ray, which was bullshit. And Samoa Joe, who gets shafted every fucking time. I miss him back in the Ring of Honor days. Him and CM Punk had the most brutal matches ever. Him and Austin Aries had the most awesome match ever. Along with CM Punk. Did he have a match with Homicide one time? I think he did. Too many good matches in Ring of Honor. And those four are in the X Division opener? How they started at the bottom? Especially Jeff, which I'm surprised, because like, he, they, Jeff Hardy gets treated like the fucking John Cena of TNA, and I'm surprised they put him in the X Division match. Good thing he didn't win the X Division title, or else I would have lost my shit. Because they make that guy win everything. Oh yeah, like I said, I haven't paid much attention to TNA. Someone explain to me why four former world champions are starting from the bottom and trying to win the X Division title. It's like they don't care anymore. Like TNA just said, fuck it, let them go for the X Division title. Well, Samoa Joe, I'm not surprised because he hasn't been world champion in so many years. Talia Madison. Yes, I said Talia Madison instead of Velvet Sky. Why the fuck is Taz saying that she's innocent and all this and that she can't fight? She's a woman, blah, 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 blah. Last time I checked, Talia Madison was a trained wrestler and she can actually go in the ring. She's hot as shit, but she can kick your ass. She's not an innocent victim in this. And yet, they make her out to be very fragile in this match. I wanted to see her kick some ass, because you know she can do it. God damn it. Probably this is the last time you'll ever hear me talk about wrestling, maybe not. Probably down the line I'll talk about someone else, if I decide to pay attention to certain things, since the wrestling industry is not that great anymore, ever since the PG era, and John Cena being Super Cena, and especially TNA just treating AJ Styles like utter crap. But for now, until next time, take it easy, humanoids. Humanoid Freak out.